Good evening and welcome back to another Celica video, my 1991 Toyota Celica GT. Now the aim of this video is to finish the wheel refurb. I've just got everything I need to uh, do the real wheel refurb. Got myself a new drill after my Alfred's one died. So I can use that to clean the wheels because the cordless doesn't really cut it. Anyway, so we've got primer, paint and lacquer. And I've also got some white spirit to uh, clean off any dust as well. But I'll probably give it a blast with some compressed air as well. So I'll show you the process. I'll just do it for one wheel. And you can see how it works. So with the wheel off the car, first thing you need to do is to get the rest of the paint off the wheel. Um, I've got my drill, so we'll have a go. I'll probably end up using the third of this bit. Blast with some compressed air, then uh, give it a wipe down with white spirit. Time to prime them. Okay, and it's about three coats of primer. Now this isn't supposed to be a, a super duper perfect job, it's just to improve the general look of the wheels rather than that horrible matte black. Before anyone says about overspray, yes, that was uh, done on purpose. It's getting new tyres, so don't matter if I get overspray on these and the, uh, the valve stem, because they're all going to be replaced when I get replacement tyres fitted. So I'll just leave this to dry for a bit and then we'll start putting the silver paint on. Right, it's time for some silver wheel paint.
Okay, the paint's had about three coats on it, so time to hit it with some lacquer. And then I've got the other three wheels off the car, so I'll double all them off the camera, you don't need to see the whole thing again. So that's all four wheels painted and primed. Now, not perfect, but that's not what I was aiming for. I was aiming to smarten them up and they'll look even better with replacement tyres on. So I think that will improve things no end and uh, another bullet to dodge on the MOT. Something I won't have to worry about. And I don't have to worry about go losing air neither. It is now the next morning and it's all dried out so get these loaded up and go down to the tyre place. I finally got the replacement tyres fitted. Took a while and I was away for a week. So they're all done and now before I put these on the car I'm going to use my Auto Glam Instant Dressing and it'll make them look a lot better. Also these are directional so it gives you directional rotation. There we go there. So that's for, that's for left, the left side there'll be another one, another directional one. Anyway, I said I told they're all directional, so we've got to go on on the correct side. So I'll get this stuff, uh, get this tie dressing done. It's time to put the wheels on. Right, I thought I'll show you just before the light goes. You can see, uh, I think it looks a whole lot better with the painted wheels and cleaned up tyres. It's not perfect by any means, but it's going to pass an MOT and tyres are all there. That's all I'm bothered about. And I've still got those two studs to sort out. I'll I'll do that in a future video. So, yep, I'm, I'm pleased with that. Uh, definitely looking better. I need to get some more wheel centres, and that that will uh, improve things even further. So that's the end of this particular video. I've now got uh, wheels look a bit nicer, and tyres that are all there, and we'll get through an MOT, and uh, are fit to use on the road. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video, please remember to like, subscribe and share, questions and comments you know where to put them. As ever, thanks for watching and I'll see you there.